So we are here at the Hard Rock Hotel. Danny, say hello. 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 We just walked into the hotel room. Uh, we're getting things ready though. We've got our clothes set out. We're trying to figure out where to put everything. Danny and I have been wanting to come to this hotel specifically for so many years because this is the Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando, right outside Universal Studios, which means we do we get early park admission? Yep. Oh. So. <laughs> We get to go into the parks not only early, but we also get express passes for staying here, which this is so exciting. And the reason that we're here is because it's a birthday celebration. <laughs> it's it is my birthday. <laughs> and Danny was very sweet to hook us up with this beautiful hotel. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm gonna do a quick little room tour and uh, show you guys what everything looks like. So the first thing that I noticed that caught my eye is that these beds, they've got little tiny antennas. Look at this. This is kind of strange, but it's like a nightlight that you go boop. Oh, that's a very bright nightlight. But that way you can keep, you know, whoever is laying next to you or whoever's sitting over on that side of the bed, you don't get the, the light uh, shining in their eyes. Yeah, you don't have to keep like the yeah, exactly, yeah, you don't have to keep all the room lights on. But what's really cool also about the lights that I'm noticing is that they're very uh, directional. Like this light right here, it, it's not like it illuminated the whole, uh, you know, the whole like front entrance room area, but let me flip it off real quick. It just kind of makes a cone. I thought that was pretty cool. Sorry, nobody cares about the lights. So we got this big, uh, big old TV here that's fantastic. They had a, a video that was playing as soon as we walked in and it would not stop, it was, oh my god, it was like in a minute and a half and it just kept looping and looping and looping, but it was, it was pretty cool. I liked uh, what they had going on. So we've got some very interesting speaker art. I like it, a little bit of abstractness. Uh, and then over here, it looks like somebody got murdered against the window, <gasps> or against the mirror, so, you know, they're, they're mixing it up, looks great, getting ready for HHN. Uh, these beds, though, are these, are these two queens? Yeah. They're huge. This is so much space, I love it. And then we've got some of our stuff over here. I like this clock too. Oh, it's a speaker. Holy, it's a huge old heavy duty speaker. Nice. We've got the telephone. They gave us some bottled water. That's how you know it's fun, see? Okay, the most, we're, we're gonna do the most important test when going to any new room. Uh, this would be the mattress jumping test. So assume your spot at your, or no, you stay here, right? You have to just jump onto the bed, okay? Ready? On three, one. Yeah. Two, three. Mm, yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> so I, I would say that the mattresses definitely pass the uh, the squishiness test. What's cool is like, it feels kind of. Is it, it's not tempur is it? I don't know. It feels like a nice pillow top. I'm looking around the room trying to like see what I'm missing. I really enjoy this space here though because you could totally bring your computer set up. That's what Danny and I were talking about a second ago. Well, you totally set up a computer here, you know, bring your laptop. You've got normal plugs and they're flipped different ways, which is amazing. People don't usually do that kind of thing. Yeah, and then you've got the USB plug as well, which is just phenomenal. Do they really? Oh, nice, I didn't even notice that. This is so helpful. Oh, I know it's over here. Yeah, we've got USB plugs right here. It seems like there's only one though. That's a little bit of a, a downside, you know, if you were trying to have one person Left side, right side, you really only have one. So unless you have a splitter or if you have like a brick, um, that's okay though. All right, what else can we see? What can we check out before we get rolling? I'm kind of going quick because we do have things that we're trying to do today, but I love this mirror. It shows your height, but then it also shows different celebrities that are, you know, your height level or around your height level. It's so cool. Okay, let's see. Yeah, what, what celebrity or musician? musician. Yeah. Hold on, I can't see the glare. Okay, let's see how tall are you. You are, oh, well, you're a five foot three. So Debbie Harry, Cindy Lauper, and Kelly Clarkson. Oh, look at that. Let's see how tall you are. Time after time. <laughs> let's see how tall you are. All right, so. Oh man. You are, wow, you are really tall. You are about as tall as Elvis Presley or Justin Timberlake. 
Like, how, 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 how. Let me see. Yeah, I would say probably. Oh, Marvin Gaye and Garth Brooks. You're so tiny. Yeah, you're about like six one. Let's go, Let's dude. Go. I didn't know Justin Timberlake was that tall. It's it's weird that they used her. At, I mean, she's obviously not Kristen four foot two. Chalice is four eleven. <laughs> Good lord. Pat Benatar and Dolly Parton are five foot. Still blowing my mind that Snoop Dogg is six four. Holy crap. Listen. What's that guy doing? <gasps> oh. Harrison is here. He's going to be joining us today. What's that guy? What's that guy doing? doing? So Harrison's got YouTube stuff that he does with our friend Torin. Who's not here? Who's not because here? Because he just got engaged. Hey. Let's go! Uh, so back to the coffee maker, back to the good stuff. So we got the Keurig here with a, a few little oh French toast. I love French toast. I've never had a Keurig. I hate coffee, uh, but. Could probably cost money, really? No, that's a new standard coffee thing in a room. Is it ah. that? I don't know. What, what about the water bottles? See, I've been to places. Water bottles are usually. That's most water bottles are like free. Free, but if they're like the Voss water, or like they're on the weighted thing, or whatever. Oh. Yeah. See, I have been some places where it's like anything that you take, we will charge you for afterwards. Which I mean, whatever. This is universal. This is universal. Nice. We got a little mini fridge that has compartments on the door, which is wonderful. Oh, and there's a drawer. What's this? A special snack drawer for all your secret snacks that you, you want to pack with you on your trip? Love it. All right. So, wrapping up the room tour, we are going to... Check. Oh, I love this. Look at this. These drumsticks are aligned in like a sound wave. This is great. Look at this. We've got a nice big mirror. Oh, and we have this tiny little pull-out makeup mirror that makes my face look very silly. How do we... Uh, Hey guy. I hit my ankle and I scraped my knee. Alright, I had way too much fun doing that. I want a robe. Can we request robes? I'm sure they have robes like in here. Did you check? They might. What's that? Uh, uh, Spanky. Whoa. No robes. So, last bit here that I want to show off is the bathroom. Welcome to the bathroom which has a sink here, which is really nice. And there's also the sink here as well, so someone could do their makeup while you're, you know, pooping. You're not gonna get in the way of anything. Uh, I thought a really fun thing here is that the toilet paper, it says a general admission. I don't know why it says that, but, oh, that must've been on top. But um, it, it says B-side, so the the, <laughs> the A-side toilet paper is here, and if you need any extra, you got your B-side. Whoops. And we've got some poo-pourri, because my farts stank. Shower's nice. It's just a standard bathroom with a standard shower. Nothing too fancy or crazy. You got a, a bar. You got a spot to put your soap. But yeah, everything's nice. Pretty standard bathroom. Uh, I think the last thing that we have to show off is just the closet space over here, which we've tossed our stuff in, tossed our suitcase and everything. Um, and I think, what's this over here? Oh, that's dang stuff. Never mind. Okay, I think it does have a hair dryer. Oh, we've got an ironing. Uh, well, an ironing board, and then also an iron. Beautiful. There's also a light here. I don't know why I didn't turn it on. But yeah, that is the conclusion of the room tour. We're setting up our switches here. We're going to have a fun night tonight playing some video games, playing some Mortal Kombat, some Mario Kart, some... Yeah, probably not Mario... Mar, Mortal... Mar, m -m 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 Love Mortal Kombat, but I also hate it because these guys are cracked at it. You, Not on the Switch, at least. He, look, he literally has to handicap himself by playing on the Switch because I he's so good. Look at the buttons. They're oh, so hard to if you guys want to hit the Wi-Fi. combos and stuff like that. Is it free? Yeah, you just put the RAM number. <laughs> Upgrades! Upgrades, people! Upgrades! It is a gorgeous day outside. We're sitting at the pool bar, and it is a gorgeous day outside. Look at that. The sun just even got brighter. I didn't even know it was humanly possible. Danny, you're looking lovely this evening. We stopped at the Hard Rock Hotel pool bar. Danny and I got the Grateful Dead. Get my souvenir cup. Huh? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's a souvenir cup, so we get to take these home. And also, since it was my birthday, they were very nice and gave us an extra little shot here. And then Harrison got the rum running blind. Our friend Kyle is coming to meet us, so we're going to eat some food, and then we are going to have a lot of fun this evening. 
So before we dig in, I want to show off this platter that we got. This was, I believe, $27? 21. $21, let's go. But it is uh, a bit of quesadilla. We've got some chips and guac and sour cream, some chicken tendies, and some mozzarella sticks. So everyone, dig in. Quesadilla! quesadilla. So we have made it back to the hotel room, and Harrison decided to play some kids bop rock and roll music, and I have to say, why? This is Aerosmith and R.A. Well, okay, yeah, now now it's Aerosmith, but just a, a few songs ahead of that. It was Kids Bop. Okay. Kyle, we are going to see how tall are you? Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley. Uh, it's because I'm a legend. Where is he? Michael Jackson. Elvis Presley. So I Kyle mean, Kyle is about I'm as tall as down. Elvis Presley and Stevie Wonder. Harrison. Like as tall <gasps> as Justin Timberlake. Stevie Wonder could Harrison, where were you at? He's at... Wait, Harrison, where are you? I was at? between 5'8 and 5'9, so between Sinatra. Adele, Adele. 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 Harrison was about right Frank here. Sinatra. Whoa, Adele is crazy tall, dude. Oh, it's it's her hair. Hair. Mariah Carey, Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Frank Sinatra, Elton John, Whitney Houston, Bob Marley. Wow, my, I've got some tall friends. <laughs> friends. What do you mean? Hey. What are we, not friends? <laughs> I was talking about that. Oh, you were talking about us. You were talking about the people in the thing. Kyle. I thought you were calling like when a foul trail of Frank Sinatra your friend. Kyle, Prince is shorter than me. Well, what? Huh? Prince? He was shorter than me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so. We are about to meet up with a friend of ours over at City Walk. Today's been kind of hectic. Uh, we have our friend Kim here. Hello, Kim. Hi. We got Harrison. We got Kim. We got Kyle. We we've got oh. Danny. We've got, we've got the whole band of Kiss apparently is hanging out with us today. But we are heading over to City Walk to go meet up with one more friend of ours who's going to be hanging out with us. Sure? We're getting lost. We're slightly confused, but it's okay because it's a it's a tour of the. Hotel. Taking a secret passage. Oh, secret passage. One might say a secret tunnel. The other way. Jesus Christ. Are you sure? Well, so we went the wrong way in this hotel. That apparently is the emergency exit. Okay. Look at this wonderful shirt that Kimothy got me for my birthday. It was so sweet. Very, very uh, fitting. But we are on our way to go uh, pick up one of our friends, Loren. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Uh, we're gonna go meet up with him. We're gonna grab some food at City Walk, and then the fun will continue. Welcome to Universal Studios Orlando. So we just went through the security for the Hard Rock Hotel. That's the like the secret passageway for us to go through. And the security guy, his name was Simon. He said that his birthday uh, was just a few days ago, and he just turned 25. Obviously, he was joking because he seemed like a little goofster, and uh, he was wonderful. So Simon, he was wonderful. Yeah. Oh, and oh yeah. Yeah. Because he saw my birthday pin. That was the that was the joke. But it's great. I love everybody here. I love all the team members. They're so much fun. Yours was yesterday, but technically by the time you're seeing this. No, today is my birthday. Today and tomorrow and the next day and the, the whole day. week, the whole, the whole month, the whole month is my birthday. No, yeah. Hey. 